Hello everyone, Lucy here today with another episode of Portal 2. If you're liking this content, consider leaving a like, a comment, hitting the subscribe button, all that helps. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost there. Ah. What are you doing? Don't mind me. Continue escaping. I'm just gonna back up. Oh, that is quite loud, dude. He's always so loud. Okay, yes, it's a trap, but it's the only way through. Ha! Death trap! Alright, let's leave. Are they killing you? They are killing you, aren't they? Ha! Was that your bullet? Riddle body flying out of the room! It was oh, those are the crap turrets, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they were. Whoa. No matter, because I'm still holding all the cards. And guess what? They're all full houses. Never actually played cards, meaning to learn. Anyway, new turret, not defective. Ace of fours. Best hand. Unbeatable. I would have Not unbeatable. Oh, I see. Clever. Very clever. Yeah, you're and just very dumb. Foolish. Spinny blade wall. Machiavellian. Well, good, good. Finally, a nemesis worthy of my vast intellect. You're stupid. Holmes versus Moriarty. Aristotle versus Mashy Spike Plate. Stay still, please. Alright, stop moving. Oh, almost got you there, almost got you there. Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you go? Come back, come back. This is the time you almost killed Captain Jack Sparrow. Goodbye! Did something break back there? Oh! Oh, did it kill you? That would be amazing if it killed you. Hello? Oh, 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 oh. yes, all right, no, just had a brainwave. I'll be back. If you're still alive, I'm gonna be back. Don't die until I get back. Okay, let's just... Okay. Get him. Pretty sure we got them all. Oh wait, we can't go that way. The way we came is gone. Okay, we got through that. Let's just... Let's just leave. Screw you. Alright, gotta keep moving. One where all the robots scream at you. That would be terrifying to go through. Those cubes are exploding.
assume we need one right there. We need one right there to blow up the window. Or, I guess, not blow up the window? I can go over there. Well, now I can. Numbers, numbers, books and numbers. I wonder where that numb skulls went off to. I, I can't get past this, so I guess I gotta go this way. Ah, there you are. Right. Yep. To talk to you for a moment, if I may. I'll be honest, the death traps have been a bit of a failure so far for both of us. I think you'll agree. And you are getting very close to my lair. Lair. It's weird in that first time I said out loud. It sounds a bit, it's a bit ridiculous, really. But uh, I can assure you, it is one. It is a proper lair, deadly lair. And uh, I just wanted to give you the chance to kill yourself now before you get to the lair. Uh, you just jump into that masher, just there. Uh, less a death trap, more a death option for you. Sounds crazy, but no, hear me out, hear me out. Once you get to my lair, death will not be optional, all right? It will be mandatory. No, okay, I'll take that as a no then. Fine, yeah, well, go, may the best go F yourself, sphere, man. May the best sphere win. Swap that, swap that in, much more clever, of course. Okay, we made it over here. You may just want to leave with me. That is an option. How the hell did we do this one? Well, there's nothing stopping us from going backwards. Look at this. Oh, it caught me. Yeah. The scientists were always singing chords on me to regulate my behavior. I've heard voices all my life, but now I hear the voice of a conscience and it's terrifying. Because for the first time, it's my voice. I'm being serious. I think there's something really wrong with me. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with you too, and we should probably seek help. What the hell? There's a couple of crazy looking ones in there. Plug me in and I'll take you up. But you're a potato. Even if you think we're still enemies, we're enemies with a common interest. Revenge. You like revenge, right? Everybody likes revenge. Well, let's go get some. That's my plan. Well, well, well. I'll grave it to you. To my lair. 
The layer sucks. According to the control panel light up there, the entire building is going to self-destruct in about six minutes. I'm pretty sure it's a problem with the light. I think the light's on the blink, but just in case it isn't, I am actually going to have to kill you, um, as discussed earlier. So let's call that three minutes, and then a minute break, where we should leave allegedly two minutes to figure out how to shut down whatever is starting all the fires. So anyway, that's the itinerary. Also, I took the liberty of watching the tapes of you killing her, and I'm not going to make the same mistakes. Four-part plan is this. One, no portal surfaces. Two, start the neurotoxin immediately. Three, bomb-proof shields for me. Leading directly onto number four, bombs. I'm throwing it. You know what? This plan is so good, I'm going to give you a sporting chance and turn off the neurotoxin. I'm joking, of course. Goodbye. Neurotoxin level at capacity in five minutes. Where are you going? Don't run! Don't run! I'll tell you why you should run. The harder you breathe, the more neurotoxin you'll impair. It's bloody clever this time. Seriously, it's devilish. No! Oh, ah! No! Oh, no! Oh, ah! Ha! That's sounded real. No. That was actually an impression of you. Actually, because you just fell into my trap. My brilliant trap. Just then. I wanted you to... Ah! Ah, got you, bitch. Space, place, space, space. 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 There we go, Warning. finally. Core corruption at 50%. Vent system compromised. Neurotoxin offline. Reactor explosion in four uh, minutes. Wh what happened? What happened? What, 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 have you, what have you bombed to me? What is that? Hold on. Ah, the bloody bombs are stuck on. Doesn't matter. I've reconfigured the shield. Oh, it's a core you pawned me. Who told you to do that? Was it her? It's just making me stronger, love. It's a fool's error. Told you. Ah! <laughs> Got ya. Okay, great. Here comes another core. Quick, what's the situation? Oh, hey, hi, you pretty lady. Name's Rick. Are you out having yourself a little adventure? What, are you fighting that guy? You got that under control? You know, because like, there's a lot of stuff on fire. Hey, the countdown clock. Man, that is trouble. Situation's looking pretty ugly. Such a beautiful woman. If you don't mind me saying. I don't want to scare you. I'm an adventure sphere designed for danger. Why don't you go ahead and have yourself a little lady break? Got ya. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! Alright, got I two minutes to do it. These cores on, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. Lord. Quietly, not listening to a word I say. Ah! Got you. Where's it at? During the Great Depression, the Tennessee Valley Authority outlawed cat rats, forcing many to hunt blue gum long ears onto their pet mice. Whales are twice as intelligent and three times as delicious as humans. At some point in their lives, one in six children will be abducted by the Dutch. 89% of magic tricks are not magic. Technically, they are sorcery. Haley's Comet can be viewed orbiting Earth every 76 years. For the other 75, it retreats to the heart of the sun, where it hibernates undisturbed. Pants were invented by sailors in the 16th century to avoid Poseidon's wrath. It was believed that the sight of naked sailors angered the sea god. The Schrodinger's Cat Paradox outlines a situation in which a cat in a box must be considered, for all intents and purposes, simultaneously alive and dead. Schrodinger created this paradox as a justification for killing cats. The first commercial airline flight took to the air in 1914. Everyone involved screamed the entire way. The moon uh. orbits the Earth every 27.32 days. If you have trouble with simple counting, use the following mnemonic device. One comes before two, comes before 60. How do I put you five, on? Comes before six trillion, comes after 504. This will make your earlier counting difficulties seem like no big deal. It is incorrectly noted that Thomas Edison invented push-ups in 1878. 
Nikolai Tesla had in fact patented the activity three years earlier under the name Tesla Size. Before the invention of scrambled eggs in 1912, the typical mm, got ya. Warning. Core corruption at one hundred percent. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. no. Did you pick up on my sarcasm? Stalemate detected. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate resolution associate. Please press the stalemate resolution button. Where is it? Do not press that button. Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Press it! Press the button! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! Press the button! No! Do not press that button! Do not do it! Don't press it! Come back! Why won't it open? Don't press that button! I'm gonna do it! Oh God! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! Well, I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place. Oh, you have to play. What did I just do? <laughs> We're in space. Let go! We're in space! Jeez. Ah, let go! Let go! I'm still connected! Yes, I see got up to space by now. I still fix this! I already fixed it. And you are not coming back. Oh no! Change your plans! Hold on to me! Tighter! Ah! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! I can't grab you. <gasps> she saved me. Yeah, that just happened. That was very weird. We sent him to the moon. Just like that rabbit. Monster carrot. Oh, thank God, you're all right. You know, being Carolyn taught me a valuable lesson. I thought you were my greatest enemy, but all along you were my best friend. Yeah. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. And I'll be honest, killing you is hard. You yeah. know what my days used to be like? What? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or <laughs> fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. And then you showed up, you dangerous mute lunatic. So you know what? I am you a win. lunatic. Just go. Yay, I'm leaving. Okay. Bye. It's been fun. Don't come back. I won't. Let's see what's on the surface, man. What's out there? Oh my god, it's beautiful. My cube. Okay, 
So yeah, while this rolls, I'm just gonna... I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Portal 2, and I will catch you all in the next one. Until... Well, I'll catch you in the next series, which we're gonna do something... I'm not sure yet. But until then, see ya. Hmm? What's this? So much space. Need space, to see it all. Space. I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. I know you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. space. Anyway, <laughs> you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And now you're sorry. I am genuinely sorry. I'm in space. The end.